Welcome back to the sound for more channel. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to the latest creation from Jam All K, Funk for Function Bud. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to participate to the giveaway, please follow the video, um, the instruction in the video description and check if, of course, the giveaway is still open. Okay, thank you very much. So as you can see, we are inside the uh, AUM, therefore AUV3. We click on the plus sign and we create a MIDI channel. We click again on the MIDI source, right? And we scroll down to reveal the search bar and we start to type FUN for function. And you can see FunkPad as a MIDI processor. Okay, so what, what is it? Well, it is a generative MIDI sequencer which uses mathematical function. Oh yes, that is the latest creation from Gem All K. Why not using mathematical function, math functions to generate sound? It's an interesting concept. It is a MIDI processor, which means that it doesn't use, it doesn't create any sounds. So it needs an audio source. You can see here, up here, the DSP usage is quite low because it's not generating any sound. So the, in terms of CPU usage is quite low. So we click on the plus sign again and we select audio to create an audio channel. We click on the plus sign here to reveal the choice of, um, um, plugins and we scroll down to reveal the search bar and we choose uh, why not we search for buds zone which has been recently released a really nice synth now we need to connect the two we need to ensure that funk bud uh, is sending messages to uh, buzz zone and uh, buzz zone is receiving them so we click on the left hand side here we select as a midi source connect midi source here funk bud and you see the tick here, it is connected. Now, another way to do that is go up here where you see this uh, uh, symbol here, which is for connection. And you can see now I establish a connection between funk bud here going into bud zone. You can see the arrow. Click again on this icon to the to make that window dis disappear, the screen to disappear. Okay, so let's choose a pleasant sound in bud zone. Otherwise, uh, um, we'll have um, uh, quite a bit um, of unpleasant notes. Let's reduce also a little bit the overall volume. That's fine for now. Okay. Let's also check while we are here. Click on the left hand side. We go here on the MIDI controls. And let's check also the AU um, parameter that's posed. As you can see, lots of them, they are there. So you can use another MIDI source to modulate those. Okay, let's open up again Funk Bud. Uh, there it is. So let's go through a little bit the um, explanation of the controls very quickly, but then we take the time to see how they work. In the middle of the screen, you see function. It says function here. I see X plus 1, X plus 2, X minus 4, etc., etc. So that X means note. So you're adding to the note a 1. And the note is the current note or the previous generated note. And um, you see more than one function in rows, which means that it resolves or it calculates the next note, the current note plus one, and then you move to the next function. So that is how it works. And um, you have an option to repeat the calculation here on the right hand side. So you say run that uh, math function here twice before you move to the next one. So plus and minus to do repeats for each function. Okay. Then up here, you have some selection, very important, the scale. So you can say use a minor scale or use whatever scale you prefer. There are so many, including your favorite there. You choose the key as well, which you can change also um, in terms of uh, um, transposition. Um, you can actually um, choose the root. And which is which is very important in terms of scale, and then you can limit the range of notes generated. You can say go from octave two to octave five, and if the equation is generating a note which goes above octave five, it will be moved to the range below to octave two. Equally, if you are generating a note which is below octave two it will move up the range. So it always constantly stay within the range that you define. And that is useful, of course, to 
uh, limit uh, the notes which are produced. For example, you might want to go much lower on the registry and therefore lower octave two to three or two to four for bass type of sounds or for plaques, you might want to go above. So you increase the minimum octave, okay? At the bottom here, you have the rate, how fast the notes are generated, a gate, how long the gate is open for each note. And for the length, you can add some variety to the gate. And then you have velocity, which you can have a fixed. And also you can add a variety to the velocity. And then you have a swing option, which is useful to actually create a rhythm, a different rhythm. You have patterns here, as always, in all gem, all K application. You can create more than one pattern. You can click and hold for copying and then click and hold on the destination to paste. So quite simple. You can create a new function, click on the new function here, and you can type here, you can say x times 2, and then you click done, like so, and it has added that function down here. You can go to library, and this is where you have a library of function, including a selection for your favorite, and you can choose the one that you like. x to the power of 2 plus 4. Next, you have edit here. You click on it so you can remove function. Click on the minus there. It asks you to confirm deletion. So you can do that like so. Or you can click and hold here where you see the hamburger menu. And you can move them up and down to change the sequence. You can also clear here. Click on clear. It will ask you to be sure. Click again and um, it will uh, clear everything in terms of function on the screen. Finally, you have settings. Inside settings, you can choose, as always, the pattern CC number. So if you want to send a CC message to change the pattern, you decide which one it is there. The input and output channel for uh, and the patterns. You can also enable loop detector. What it means by this is that sometimes when you go and calculate function, it might generate um, always the same value after a while. So it detects that. And um, you can also allow a maximum number of repeating nodes. At the moment, I leave it off. You can have... Um, uh, you can enable or not the calculation of muted function. So if they're not uh, sounding, so you may want to have that calculated or not, which affects the next note, or you might want to save that in terms of CPUs. You can have a MIDI channel, in this case, channel number two by default to transpose up and down. It will act on the key. And finally, you can trigger it instead of being triggered by the host when the transport control, in this case of AUM, it can be triggered manually. So it will be waiting on channel number one here for a note before it generates and triggers the note. Here you have additional parameter like hold the meter trigger, sorry, hold the MIDI triggered note. So don't use the sequence array and gates. If you want to do that, you can set the MIDI channel. Um, and also you can prefer the velocity from the MIDI trigger. And that is your choice. Tutorial and rating the app, which I recommend you do. So if I press, uh, let's ensure actually I don't have a manual trigger on. So let's uh, set that off and click um, done. So if I click play, nothing happens now because there are no function. Now let's uh, choose a low rate because uh, I want it to go slow to actually show you what it does. Okay, maybe one bar. It will start from root C4, key C and scale minor. Okay, now if you... If you prefer, in terms of explanation, perhaps uh, um, a major one might be easier. So like so, so the note C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then repeat. So let's add this, the simplest function. We go to library and we say X, right? Which will be the note. If I press play, it will show C4 and it will play there. You hear from bad zone. And there's nothing else because he repeats always that note. There is only one function. Now we can go into edit. Okay, remove that function there. Okay, let's uh, bring, uh, go to the library and let's add the next one, which is X plus one. So it's going to add one. So we click play, D4, because he has taken C4, added one, and that's become D4, the next note on the scale. Okay, D4, E4, F4 is going through the function, G4, A4, B4, C5 because it's in the octave still, D5 is going up. I'm going to show you what happens when it goes to after B5. So 
So it's gone to C2. So it's gone above octave 5 and it's gone to C2, which is the main octave, okay, the minimum octave. So hopefully that makes sense. So let's increase the speed now. Let's go to a quarter. Now let's say that we want to increase the minimum octave to third, okay, like so. Maybe even starting from octave uh, uh, number four, like so. So. So it's just a simple scale going up and down. Now, it becomes really interesting, of course, when you click on library and add again a different type of uh, um, function. So X minus two. So it's going up by one note, but then it's coming down by two notes. Okay, and then it will repeat. So let's see what happens. So it's descending because it's going up by one and then going down by two, which is the equivalent to going down by one in mathematical function. Okay, again, it really depends on what you are trying to do. So if you start to add the multiplication, then it gets very interesting or division. Now, this is the automatic trigger. Now, let's go to settings and uh, let's go where it says manual trigger. We activate that and it, pay attention, it said MIDI channel one. Okay, let's click down, let's click play, nothing happens. Click here on the top left to connect the internal MIDI keyboard of AUM. Now press a note. As you press notes, you trigger manually the uh, generation of those notes based on function, of course. And that can be useful, for example, you could uh, come in with a double click here and search for something like Polybad, another fantastic app, connect the two so that uh, we have Polybad as a MIDI um, input source to Funkbad. So you can have these now triggering Funkbad, which will go at this rate. Of course, you can change the rate here. And it will trigger, of course, a much slower uh, funk bud. Okay, so let's remove that and let's go back inside funk bud. Let's go to settings and remove that um, manual trigger. Now we have transposition with MIDI on on channel number two. Okay, so what we can do um, is again we have the MIDI AUM MIDI keyboard connected. We can change the channel here. We click on the cogs here. Go to channel number two, MIDI send channel number two. Now I click play. And as it's playing, I'm going to uh, change the key. You will see here as I press the keys on the AUM keyboard. And that is useful because then you can create more intelligent pattern or more recognizable pattern. So for example, you could again, go back to Polypad, like so, connect the two as we have seen a moment ago, like so, right? Then you can go inside the Polypad and you can say every, change the rate here, every, um, for example, bar, after one bar, change the note from C to, uh, uh, for example, F, G and then F again, why not? Um, we go to settings here, we say a MIDI uh, channel um, two, okay. MIDI input channel, okay, perfect. Hopefully that is okay. And you can see the key is changing here 
which correspond to the changes of polybad. So if I put them side by side, you can see that when polybad is changing the notes here, it changes the key there. Okay, so hopefully that uh, um, explain how that um, that works. Of course, you can continue like so. So let's say that we add another audio channel. So we could go for another bus zone like so. And um, we can create a new funk bud here like so, right? And we can connect the two. So we click here and we select the second function bud. There you go. We open this version of bud zone. We can go to a bass um, sound again, just a bit of volume there. Now we can we have the um, we connect um, uh, polybud to this function too as well. So we follow the same pattern as the, fir the as the first function bud. So there it is, and then inside this one, we limit the octave. We say go only up to octave three because it's a bass. Uh, leave it to major scale and leave leave this one the function you see on the screen. Let's see what uh, happens. Of course, I had to change the rate; it was too fast. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.